There we go. 48 waiting. Wow. How's it going, everybody? Let me get it up. I did have, uh, I can't remember who it was. Somebody just commented on my video from today and was like, who are you? <laughs> I don't look that different. Come on. You look different. It, it, it took some years off you. There's no doubt about that. I look younger. I know. You look like you're 29. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Seriously. Although with the beard, people are like, are you 50? I'm like, no. Brian, he looks pretty different. Brian looks like Seth Rogen. <laughs> <laughs> Shockingly so. <laughs> He's some curly hair and a, a weird, goofy smile away from being Seth Rogen at, at times. I'll tell you all, Chad, if you didn't watch that uh, live, you better go back and watch it from last Friday. It was very entertaining. It's a long one, so you might have to fast forward a little bit, but uh, it does get interesting. <laughs> No shots tonight. That's not that's not what we bet on Tuesday. No, no, we don't do shots. The Luau does not do shots. Very rarely will I ever do that. Seen it I once. watch it, though. It's very enjoyable. I've been thinking about that. When you and Larry come and visit, are you guys just not going to drink anything? Because you're both going to drive home. I, I, uh, well, I'll probably have something to drink. Oh, so when we go out to eat, I'll get something. we got to decide where we're going. I'll look, I'll look it up. I'll man versus food it and see what I can find anything. Because it, it worked out great in Indy. I'm curious. I'm curious. Except for the first place. The first place was a little high end than what the show made it seem. Luckily, I, I came prepared. But if I would have showed up there in, in shorts and a t-shirt, it might not have went so well. Probably not. Now I'm thinking, oh, it's a milk bar. It's ice cream. It had, oh, man. Oh, 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 okay. Suits, ties. 70-year-old people. That was the first thing I thought is I was like, did Andrew wear basketball shorts to this place? No, I didn't. I, did. I wore jeans and a, a button-down polo shirt. So I was like, I wore t -sh tennis shoes. Uh, $10 super chat from Devin. Devin, thank you so much. Maybe he had a, he had a good Monday. Oh, I, I bet he did. <laughs> I hope he did. I did. I would, Devin, I'm sure you had the Patriots on that one. I work with a very, I mean, I gamble. I'm not going to lie. I, I play, I like to play the, the, the sports every now and then, but I have one, a guy at work that plays very heavily in it. I mean, we're talking, I'll never forget. He's sitting there and the one guy at works like, well, he said, ah, oh, man, I had a really bad weekend. And he's like, what's a bad weekend to you? I'm down five. Oh, five bucks. No, I'm down 5k. <laughs> he like jokes it up. <laughs> he said, ah, I'll get it back on Monday and Thursday. I'm sure yeah. enough he did. Yeah, that's, I mean, you bet big, the swings are bigger. Yeah, it's, whew. Now, so do you like to bet on, what, the lines, or do you do the week? Oh, yeah, I do lines. Mm -hmm. I like. Yeah. I just like the daily fantasy. Yes, we did just go live, camera. Yes. Heck, I, I went through uh, technical school gambling. I did, too. Mine was poker, though, not. Uh... I enjoyed poker, too. I loved online poker. Man, I loved that. But then they it's hard to find it anymore for real money. I mean, it's there, but it's it's nowhere near what it was. I remember that. I like the good old full tilt days, and oh yeah, we could sit around. My buddy and I would play in the same tournament in the same condo, and just uh, yeah, that would be the old Tuesday night beers and poker. It was fun. Yep, he replaced our dining room table with a. Uh, he actually refelted the whole table and then put like a armrest around the outside with drink holders in it so <laughs> we had a, we had a poker table instead of a dining room table sarah oh sarah already hit 1k congratulations sarah congrats sarah it's awesome congratulations if anyone wants to keep up on mystery boxes sarah is the person you want to get a hold of she'll let you know any and everything that drops no joke and i'm talking like immediately when it drops she is on top of it Yeah, not, what's going on? Not just mystery boxes either, but she's been uh, she's been on top of uh, like new pop releases mm -hmm. and drops from like Spastic and Seven Bucks a Pop when they release, you know, like collections that they bought. So yeah, and if anyone out there, uh, Pop King Paul just dropped a box. I forget how many boxes he did, but his box just went live. So if you want a Pop King Paul box, it's an opportunity to get it. 
Zach, that spread was made before they knew it was going to be played in a rainstorm. Oh, yeah, that was an ugly game. Yeah, I did not watch it. was like a downpour. Well, now uh, I think Redskins are Thursday night. After that? Oh. Yeah. Minnesota. Oh. And yeah, I, looked at it. I, I, I had to take Minnesota in my survivor pool. <laughs> Cousins is playing well. I can't uh, remember if it's in Minnesota or if it's in Washington, but yeah, I'm it's sure Minnesota. It's, it's not going to matter. Our defense is, is better this year. Our offense is worse. Mm. I like the idea of the young receivers, but I wish they were like young and more talented receivers. Not that mm-hmm. Corrin hasn't done a lot because he has. but They're like my fantasy team. Uh, yeah, I, I had 49 points going into last night or something like that. Was like, <laughs> David Johnson had two rushing yards. Yeah. I'm with you. I lost my homes now. Forgotten is how long. It is it is what it is. Right. One and six, I'm done. I'm two and five, yeah. I think <laughs> we're both done. <laughs> There's always next year. We're fighting for not the toilet bowl. Yeah, I'm sitting there listening to, to Steven over the weekend talk about it. I'm like, shut up, Steven. Jesus Christ. I don't want to hear it. Oh, we would have been undefeated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, One Magoo. Six. Thank you, Magoo. Magoo super chatted to say the Redskins are going to lose. <laughs> I, th- I think it's in Minnesota, too. Hey, but you never know. Any given Sunday. Any given Sunday, guys. Uh, <laughs> Who would have thought the Colts would have went into uh, – KC and win, and then Houston went in there and won. Well, yeah, that's, I mean, that's true. Yeah, two Cowboys long-term. went into the Jets. No one, even though Darnold was back, no one thought the Jets would win that one, but they did. You yeah. know, <laughs> then you've got Darnold after the game saying he's seen ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> that's been replayed on Sports Center and every other ESPN <laughs> talk show all day. <laughs> Oh my! I did hear if anyone wants uh, Chester the Cheetah, I heard is a GameStop. So if anyone's is looking to get Chester the Cheetah, he's a GameStop. I'm just gonna wait for Funko to do the next release where he's twock. I I would think it's got to happen. Energizer Bunny, Chester the Cheetah. I assume they're all gonna be flocked at some point. Mahomes looks to have a target on the Titans game. Yeah. Yeah. Let me know, Brian. Make me a trade if you want them. Thanks, Bob. <laughs> I said my fantasy team is better than my record here lately. <laughs> <laughs> it is eight, six, and one. You it's were true. pretty big at one time on me. It was like five and two at one point, wasn't it? I think at one time it was. I was one and five. Then it was five and two. Then we. Then we tied. Then it was August was off. And then we came back, we tied with identical boxes. That was the problem. Chrono Toy shouldn't have gone away for a month. That's when it all went downhill. <laughs> they went away for a yeah, month. Hot streak. Yeah, they, they redesigned the way they ship their boxes, and they're like, we're going to get Sean with this new individual <laughs> box method. He won't know what hit him. But we, we actually saw a grail. Pops Cave did open a grail. I mean, it was way back in an August box, and they did it recently, but still. I mean, I think in the same box run they opened two because they also had the blue metallic Vegeta. Yeah, yeah. I, I just crazy, crazy, crazy. They they get some good hits. I I did look this this gummy bear is nine million Scoville units. Great. <laughs> I, I think JJ. I don't know if JJ's here, but JJ was just messaging me on Instagram saying uh, there's some other death. Oh, tube, yeah. Death tube challenge. Yes. It's 13 million. Yeah, it's a tube full of death nuts. I told JJ, there's no way I don't do nuts. So he said, no, I didn't want to tell you about it. Now, I, there is a video of a guy that did those, and he did them in a hot tub because he wanted to make it harder. <laughs> this it, seems like an awful idea. He does hot tubs. It's uh, Ryback. Uh, hang, I forget if it's hanging with the big guy or something like that. Look up Ryback. He's a, future, he's a former wrestler. And he sells supplements, weightlifting, but he does hot challenges. He did three of the gummy bears at once. Ooh. He did the tube with the nuts. He's done the one chip challenge. He's I forget what else. He's done a lot. He's done the toe of Satan. I imagine some people in here have had luck with the uh, the Jay and Silent Bob at FYE Zombie Recon. Mm-hmm. And 
I could probably name Andrew's favorite pull from a mystery box better than I could name my own. I, th I think Andrew's has got to be the um, the metallic blueberry. That was probably the best, yes. Um, my own, I don't know, favorite, but most valuable is the metallic autographed Deadpool. That's the one I remember the most, the one you pulled, the autographed Deadpool. Actually, I don't know if that's worth more of the Tupac. One of those two mm -hmm. is the most valuable, but favorite is hard. Tupac, was, we, that was the same box that I got Booberry out of. The, that was like Pop King Paul's first big mega yep. box. Yep. Yep, it was the one where he was like, I did not realize that was an error or Tupac or I would have kept it. Because <laughs> he has quite the collection. And no kidding. He's got some good stuff. Uh, I have a lot of stuff, as you will see here coming up in like a month. <laughs> Are we doing a collection video? Um, no, we're not going to do a collection video. I did, uh, I did decide that I'm going to do a little mystery box for you and Larry. Uh, not just pops, but like stuff from the area that I like mm -hmm. that uh, you guys can either open it while you're here. You can take it back and open it on a video if you want to, but okay. uh, I'm going right. to send you guys each home with a little box for coming to visit me and hanging out. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm coming with something too. Now that you can wait till Christmas time to open it, but it's good. It's uh, interesting. I'll, I'll see what you guys do. I'll see what you guys do. If you want to open your boxes, we can all open our boxes, have a little pre-Thanksgiving Christmas, or, you know, <laughs> we'll see what's going on. Yeah, Chasing Pops, 104 in the chat. I mean, I, cool. this is insane. I mean, I don't think Andrew or I thought the channels would be this big, even when we first did a live together. Because neither of us were, like, really big at that time. And how many people do you think watched the first one of these? I think we, we were surprised at how well people responded and enjoyed it. I, at first, remember in June, we did some we did some in the afternoon. We would do some at like 6 at night. It was all yep. sort of all over the place. I think we found our sweet spot at like 9.30. Yes, well, this is an unfortunate time now because we have video game interference. World of Warcraft, raid times at 7 p.m. Eastern. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm telling you, I think Oren is actually in my guild. There's a guy in my guild who sounds exactly like Oren on Discord. I haven't proved it yet, but and look, Oren says he doesn't. He doesn't. He's not a big player. That's what he says. But I think it, I think it's him. Oh, oh, are you here also, little one? You want to say hi real quick? Say hi, and then it's the bedtime. Hi. Say hi. <laughs> the Luau does not play well. <laughs> No, I don't. I don't. Did you know one teacher, one, 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 one paper say, like, change anything? What? <laughs> uh huh. Someone saved school. And I love school, even way. Okay, you love school. It's time for bed. <laughs> All right. Say bye. Yeah. Go All check right. my channel out. Shut up, right? You go, you go check my channel out. <laughs> no, you get... Can you please go check my channel out? What's yeah, it called? It actually has a future live with uh, Wally coming up. What's it called? Did ha didn't I already subscribe? I don't know. Something you didn't sparkle. subscribe to my channel or... Unicorn Spark... I don't... Unicorn Spark or something like no, that. No, Unicorn Magic Rainbow. Unicorn Magic Rainbow. Okay. All right, guys. Take time to sleep. Unicorn Magic Rainbow, you heard it here first. And she has a live with Wally, which should be quite interesting. She said, I, I will I will subscribe. God, I, I subscribe <laughs> to everybody. <laughs> Do you know how hard it is? To, okay, never mind. I won't get into that. I won't get into yeah. that at all. <laughs> I know where you're at. But yeah, I think what? We started in June. I would say like we were surprised, I think 50, 40, 50 people originally. Yeah. It was like I'm 60. I don't think we had it scheduled or anything. We just hopped on and, you know, went live and went with what we got. And, and you guys seem to like it. Everyone says they like it. So can someone post it? I mean, that's from people. I remember when I, when I met Invalid, when I went to his store, he knew about the head to head battles we do. And that's the one thing, uh, you know, sitting with Steven in Indianapolis. That's the one thing he mentioned. He said the head to heads, he loves the head to heads. 
and Clint. And, you know, it's just something that sticks out to people. They enjoy it. So I think it's enjoyable to get a live stream during the week instead of just some, some of the other, I mean, there's a, there's an audience for everything, right? I mean, this, this has an audience and then what happened last Friday and Saturday also has an audience. <laughs> <laughs> Which is, it's enjoyable. <laughs> oh, who's asking about the custom? God, I don't have top chat on, Brian. Uh, Cameron Duell. Hopefully I don't knock the Cosmo picture. Oh, uh, the planet Arlia Freddy. Yeah, people are always asking about. It. Even in the video today, I was getting a lot of comments asking what this is. It's um, Freddy Funko as Planet Arlia Vegeta. So he took the normal head of a Freddy Funko, and he put it on the new Vegeta. And then with this one, he actually did the paint in a uh, pearl flecked uh, metallic. And then he took the scouter, I think, off Raditz, and did the custom readout on the scouter for it. It is awesome. One of what? Three? Only three ever made? Well, technically, it's it's one of two. Uh, pop in hand. Yep. Justin's got the original, and then I have what we're calling the chase. <laughs> and then uh, Middle Brothers Custom said he might make one for himself, too, but he's not making any more for sale. They are awesome. And Queen B, I saw Queen B is back making pops. Yes, I've seen her more active on Instagram now. A couple so. Etsy exactly. ones. I didn't pull any triggers, but uh, she made an incredible flocked Coca-Cola bear. I still have the one I purchased, the flocked uh, yep. Crunchberry Beast, my favorite. I still have two I really like. I told her, I said, the bear is awesome. I'd love to see if you could do Chester, but, you know, future to come. They're very booked. And I actually got uh, some uh, some of those cases finally came in. Oh, yeah? They did. What do they look like? Well, one, there's three of them. One is Michael Jordan for Michael Jordan. One oh. is for Which Slimer story? and Ghostbusters. And one is for Elvira. So I'll, deb I'll debut. I didn't even get them out of the box yet. He did show me what they look like. Uh, see did one. you get the, the LEDs on all of them? Oh, yeah. All right, there you go, chat. And uh, you can tell Aaliyah that I am now subscribed if she doesn't figure that <laughs> out and come running back down. Here we go. I will show this is what the Ghostbusters one looks like. If anyone might not be able to see it. That looks cool. Is that with the light on? I can't tell because the light's in my face. That, that's with the light on. So that's the top of it with the Ghostbusters logo and sort of like the green slime. Oh, nice. Yeah, I like that. So I'll bring him out on a video. I told him I would. Did he give you a discount for that? What was it? Did he give you a discount for that? No. <laughs> I didn't ask. I didn't ask. I didn't tell him till they were after made and shipped that uh, right when he was going to ship. I said, put in a little information for yourself. I, will, I'm gonna, I plan to open them up live on a channel or on a video and I'll, I'll shoot you out and let you let them know that, uh, you know, this is what you do. Well, maybe he's sick of the anime because he, he never got back to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, you know, he. it took a while to get them, I will say. It took a little while to get them. A couple uh, messages, but, you know, eventually. Yeah, how old is Aaliyah? She's eight. Eight? Eight years old, guys. So, as Grumpy said, as if you subscribe, just remember, it's an eight-year-old's channel. Yes. And she doesn't do many. I don't know what she does. I don't keep track of it. I think she plays with videos here and there. Her and Wally, she bet, you know, asked Wally, would you do like a head to head live with me? And I told Wally, I said, it's, it's up to you, Kristen. If you want to do something like that, it's totally up to you. But you're going to do it on your channel. And I'm not going to help a lot. I'm going to stay in the background. And you, you, if you got a carrier on a video, you're going to have to carry her on a video. Kristen said she would do it. She wants to do it. And they, Kristen got some stuff, sent them here. So eventually that will happen. I'm interested. It, I think that would be interesting. You know, Leah has, I don't know. I think Leah's only seen one of Wally's video where Wally shows, you know, shows her video. But she watched the other ones where it's just the hands. Oh, yeah. And she's opening things. 
Yes. Devin nods. When I, oh, yeah. Devin really wants that that pack. No. <laughs> he's just, he's just got – Devin's one of those who sees something and gets fixated, I think. Mm-hmm. What? Well, Devin, if I remember correctly, you're, I don't think your uh, your wife wants to let you have that. <laughs> Phenomena. Yeah. Didn't you say you weren't allowed to have that because you turn around and start singing every time? Wouldn't be good. Wouldn't be good. All right. Well, want we'll to give them some boxes? Let's do it. Let's see. Eight, six, and one. Will it be eight, seven, and one? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know. So for everyone, Chrono did not do weekly boxes last week, but we were a week behind. So that's these are probably week two. Week two of August sounds yep. great, right? Yep. Uh, yeah, 10-9 is my ship date. And I'm sure they took down the thing, and I don't remember what the, the, the hit were. But we do know, if there's a hit, it, chances are it's in a protector. I've only gotten a protector once, and it was like an $18 pop, so I don't know what the deal was. But I can tell you that those $30 boxes, there should be a high potential of Darnas. Oh, God, not Darna. <laughs> I, I, saw you, opened. I saw you get one on the... Uh, oh, yes, and everyone oh, said... Darn. I only say Darna because we, we get them. I, Sean gets them, too. And it's not we don't want it. It... It doesn't fit in collections, and then it it's still like a forty dollar pop, and it holds value. There's no doubt about that. It's just yeah, but I think there's a there's a point where a lot of the mystery box companies kind of abuse the value that certain pops yeah. hold, and they just get as many as they can with overseas exclusives yeah. and flood them into the. It's what scared me about those thirty dollar boxes because I remember you know when everyone got the the ones a while ago, it was uh it was a blue chrome pop Asia pop that a lot of people got. Or it was the glow in the dark Jolly Bee. Yeah, that was that what a lot of them were, wasn't it? Which one? Yeah, it was a fifty dollars box. Yeah, it was a fifty dollars box. One pop, fifty dollars box. And they bought a, a ton of those blue blue chrome. Um, I forget what it was, but it was a blue chrome pop Asia pop. Rich, I don't know if anybody is. Based, I've seen you ask that question a couple times. I'm clearly not watching it, and unless Andrew has it on muted behind his computer, I don't think he's watching it. So I know people have asked some videos. I look over here. That's because I've had uh, – I think I did record when a football game was on. So for those of you that watch videos and ask me that, that's what that is. But I don't have, I don't have it on. I've had some know. people figure it out, uh, this one. Yeah. That reflects my TV. So if my TV's on, some people are like, "Are you watching football?" I'm like, "Yep." <laughs> I don't know if I'm. I mean, I, I might put an episode or you know a game or two on for the world. I don't know. I don't know if I have that big an interest in it. My teams are out. Yeah, my team never was even in the playoffs. So, uh, yeah, I don't think my team showed up at the stadium for half their games. <laughs> I'm an Orioles fan. So. I think it'll be a good one. I mean, you know, great pitching matchup, but yeah. True, true. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be upset if either one won the World Series. I don't know if I don't have a favorite. Am I going first? Sure. All right. I, I already opened I already opened uh, and, PPG up. I'm already disappointed. <laughs> uh yeah, I have I have PPG up. Okay. You want to keep score or you want me to keep score? Uh, as you, oh, I do know where my notepad is. I will keep score. Okay. Uh, pen. So it's a Jim Halpert pop. Uh, whether Ooh. it's whether it's a good Jim Halpert pop or the common, I tend to Jim think Halpert it's the common. Right, or it could be the chase. It could or be it could Jim be, is Dwight, uh, yeah. Pop exclusive with uh, the holy, holy Jim. Let's see here. And it, there is there is a sticker. Oh, then I would bet it's the overseas. It's the Holy Gym, and it is. It's yep, a whole punch. Punch. free hole punch, pop culture. So, Funko Shop here in the states. I think I'm about to have a full set of Jim Halperts. I now have the Chase, the Jim is Dwight, hole punch, and the Common. 
I don't know how many more there are, but uh, that should be a good start. We are on top of the Jim Halpert collection. He's got to be 25 in the 25 to 30 range, I would think. You think so? Did it sell out at Funko? Oh, yeah, it sold out. Oh, wow. If I remember correctly, it sold out very quickly. Really? Yes. It was a surprise. People were surprised by it, how quick it sold out. Sean's a cheater. Check his numbers. Uh, doubtful. <laughs> $43. Woo! I think that might be the best pop I've pulled on this series in a long, long time. Wow. 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 That's a big lead early. It's it's luck for me because <laughs> I have 10 to 15 boxes each week. And I just set four aside. And the rest of them get sprinkled everywhere. <laughs> well, you're going to have a big lead early. Is, is it Jim is three hole punch? <laughs> no. It's Bulbasaur. Oh, yeah. Bulbasaur is uh, not the highest dollar pop in the Chrono Toys Arsenal. Eight, maybe? Nine? Would be my guess. Six. Oh, six. Ouch. So they're saying double check me. Double check me. I'm a cheater. For what? <laughs> you say I'm a I make the numbers up. <laughs> He's got pop price kind of guys. I make all of these numbers up. Oh my! I At least he just called that pull. Uh, <laughs> I think we. I think I hit him. I think we both hit him last week. The Pokemon show up a lot. I mean, they're popular pops, but there's a lot of them out there. This thing is. Do you ever think this pop or? Any of the older Captain Americas at this point will go back down? No. Or are they going to have to make another Captain America movie and just ruin it? They'd probably have to ruin it. That's a good one. That, I have that one already. Yeah, I like I like that. The winter, That's Winter Soldier. That's the Winter Soldier one. Um, I have a few of them. There's a couple that don't really have great value. Like I have the, the one where he's got Bucky's cap on and... Uh, yeah. I think anyone with the shield or anything like that. Magoo, thank you. Yeah. I think anyone like that is going to... I mean, heck, that other one... Um, the one where he's got Mjolnir? Yeah, that still, I think, holds a very good value. I think it would hold a better value if they didn't release the common of him with the broken shield. That's true. That's true. So, All right. Well, we ready for number two? We are ready for number two. We got a $37 lead after round one. All I need to do is keep pulling gems with three hole punch. All right. So no sticker. And it feels like a brand new box. Oh, we know what that is. Yep. Dude Thor. The dude. The dude. Which cool is pop. a very good pop. Yeah, it's a cool pop. We just all have a ton of them. What is on his wrists? What are those? I don't remember. <laughs> Sunglasses are a little funky. We have Dude Thor. I think Dude Thor is probably like eight bucks. Eight, nine, I bet. Uh, eight bucks. Yeah. Eight bucks. Oh, here. Usually I do this for you guys. Let's see what, uh, what's happening. I'm over here, Vegeta. Did you say you made that Kazi picture into a t-shirt? Uh, I was going to work with, well, I am going to work with um, YoJ Collects on getting it scanned in and turning it into a logo that says King Kazi. Oh, I like that. Okay. But uh, we haven't we haven't cooperated on that yet. Hopefully here soon. Oh, uh, here, here's the one that's been popping up all over the place. Good old Popeye the Sailor Man. Oh, yeah. Good pop, but again... It is. Exploitation on the mystery boxes. So he's still holding 17. I've seen him go down to 15 and back up and down. He's a cool pop. Especially series, limited edition. <laughs> limited to however many we can sell. That's exactly right. <laughs> 
I used to say that when I was younger and my whenever I remember whenever my parents would go car shopping or if I saw a cool a car I thought was cool, I'd be like, Oh, look at that navigator. It's a limited edition. My mom would look at the window. <laughs> It's only limited to however many they could sell. Right. They love putting that name on it because they could charge more money. Hey, it didn't stop me from buying uh, a limited edition on my Ford Escape. There you go. That Popeye was 40 to $50 at one point. It I must bet. have been very exclusively released, if that's the case. Because it's, uh, it's from late last year, I think. Well, they probably kept release. This one has a 19. Oh, all right. Well, 19715. Uh, okay, so it was a small release and then re release, Daniel. I, I bet. Gotcha. I gotcha. Kind of like the Grinches. The Grinches were out, out in 17. They re released them last year, and they're going to re release them again now. Well, Elizabeth, if you get a box from the Luau, you could drop a little hint that you might want that Popeye with, uh, with some candy. I think that's a, a common giveaway on this channel. Yes, it is, Elizabeth. I, I do do the mystery boxes for you guys, and I, I very rarely sell them. <laughs> Pay you Tuesday for a hamburger today. <laughs> that was a cool movie with good old Robin Williams. Uh, I, you know, I don't think I ever saw the Robin Williams movie. Version. No, oh, it, it was cool. A but, lot of people hate Shelley Duvall. Couple other like notable people you could see, but you know, Robin Williams and they built up the set. I think it was overseas, they built up the set on like this little island type thing. Really cool. Hmm. They got panned really bad, but you know, what are you gonna do? It's not yeah, there's is really not anything you can do with that kind of character. Uh you enjoyed it as a kid. I like all those older cartoons. Mm -hmm. They were good cartoons, grew up on them. Joe, I've seen so many movies that you've never heard of. <laughs> That's what I get from me. Oh, a movie Sean's never seen? No way. He does watch movies. He might not have seen some of the, the big ones, you know. But Hey, I've seen enough. Yeah. I know. Watch a Christmas Story when it comes out all the time for 24 hours on Christmas Eve. Uh, I actually won the Blu-ray from somebody last year, and... <laughs> That's sitting there. The Lost Boys. I have, you know, four, I have probably about thirty movies I own that I've never seen. Which I, I blame Netflix because they keep releasing more seasons of Supernatural. They do. Possible Popeye reboot as a cartoon zombie recon. I hope. Be cool. Hopefully, they don't do a live action. They're all everyone's on that live action stuff. No, Philip, I have not seen Nightmare Before Christmas. I just like what the pops look like. So, this is a no sticker and just peripheral vision. It looks very orange. Oh, it's not orange. It is oh, vampire. There you go. Vampire Jack, just as you were talking about him. Yeah, just as somebody mentions NBC, here it is. And this is the new series. So, uh, I think this is the second or third Jack I've pulled. The only one I haven't gotten is the Witch there. So I've got the Undersea, the Mummy Boy, Vampire Jack. In. No witch. I, I, got, I had to get Jack in his house. I don't know why. I just had to do it. Did you get the one with the fountain? I did not get the one with the fountain. There's I got the one where it was just Jack with the house because I like the house. So Jack is 10 bucks. The one with the house is cool. I like that. I like that one. And then uh, I had to get, of course, Beetlejuice and uh, the little house. Uh, you could just couldn't pass it up. Yeah. I like the fountain. Um, I have Zero. I used to have both versions of Zero with the doghouse, the regular and the, the glow, but I just have the glow chase now. That is a good one. That's me limiting myself. <laughs> I did get a whole Jack Nightmare Before Christmas damage box from toy usa but it actually was uh extra damaged oh that's yeah that's the, the nice thing they do is that i'm the one that has to deal with the postal service that's the great customer service yeah yeah so you're definitely going to have a lead coming into the end because um, we are going to have the non-flocked fox non-flocked fox 
books. Non fucked. One of the new series representing Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Ooh, even the flocked one is down to sixteen dollars. Yeah, I can see. I can believe that. So non flocked is at nine dolores. Nine dolores. Yeah, so, so currently, in the last one you have a pretty good lead. So I'm at sixty one currently. Ooh. And Mr. Luau is at 32. Ooh, wow. That is uh, a little you know rougher what? than it normally is. You hit it, and let me see how big the deficit is. <laughs> this is shaping up to get ugly. <laughs> yeah, you guys, please, PPG along. I'm not cheating. <laughs> <laughs> the Millennium Falcon is gigantic. I wish they would ship it double boxed. And I realize it's not that heavy, but still, when you don't ship it double box, every little hit to it is dinging the corners on that thing. So. Yeah, mine, mine just came in today, and it was the same thing. Just They sent it in the sorter. Yeah, it's just a giant sorter. Yeah. I mean, you might as well just wrap the whole thing in bubble wrap and put a label on it. It'd be better off. Probably would be. Did you call Amazon to get a new, new one? Uh, yeah, I, I didn't even call them. I just went on there and said I want a replacement, and they say why, and I say because you guys don't know how to ship collectors items. It's you know you write the whole. Oh story. yeah. And they're like, okay, you can have a new one. They just ignore whatever you write. Yeah, send us back the the old one. Well, thankfully here they do UPS pickup, so all I have to do is retape the box shut and be here when the guy comes to pick it up. So it's not he'll cool. he'll have the label and all that, and uh. It's it's annoying, but it is, it is a cool pop. I, at the same time, you know it's going to be one of those that we'll probably be able to get six months from now for like twenty bucks. Probably you're going to do out of the box, aren't you? Uh, that's the plan. I've seen a couple of people ask how I'm, uh, how I'm going to display it. The plan is uh, I have an angled doorway going into my bedroom, so if I take a shelf and put it at the right angle for the Falcon, I can just put it there, and you know I could. I, I could essentially just have the thing look like it's flying in the corner there. I'm assuming you saw the, the new preview that they debuted last, the, the final trailer last night. I did. Yes, yes. yes. And Which then all the tickets went on sale. And I have a new theory. It's, it's, we'll talk about that off here. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who didn't, check out the new trailer. It's the last trailer. And check out your movie theater because last night all the movie theaters are selling the pre tickets. It's got a. Sorry, I'm assuming they're going to be sold out. It's got a stand on it, Brian, or I would. You said get fishing wire and hang it from the ceiling. That would be cool. That's what I was going to do with the Lego one, but uh, someone, uh, large white beast who lives here, stepped on it <laughs> a lot. <laughs> So it's in uh, it's back in its original form of like eleven or twelve hundred pieces. <laughs> that is a, a cool Lego. I, I like building those. When I get uh, that's that's my thing. When I get in bad shape from my back or something, get stuck at at the house, can't go around. Uh, shut up, girl. <laughs> it was Cosmo. <laughs> 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 Coles takes Amazon stuff back. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Who did I? Although Coles might just take anything back. I could throw it in the trash. That's rude, Alexandra. No. Bob Lancaster, my Becky was shipped in a bag. Uh, Bob, I'm assuming you're talking about the Amazon exclusive Becky Lynch. Oh, that's that's rough. So we have a sticker of some circular type. Could be a could be a Popeye. Could be a pop culture. Could be. I, I don't think I've ever seen a Funko shop out of one of these boxes. No. Overseas. Could be a glow chase. Oh. <laughs> great. All right, let's see what it is. It's Popeye. <laughs> <laughs> so while I'm not super thrilled about Popeye, Vampire Jack, or Thor. I actually really like all three of these pops. I just already have all three of those pops. So 
Popeye does have the seventeen dollar price tag, as we already know. So what's that? That's probably what four. That's over a fifty dollar lead, right? That's uh, almost. It is forty six at this point. Forty six. Forty six to tie. Forty seven to win. Yeah, you better eat your spinach. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about this one. I think we're looking at eight, seven, and one. I'll take it. That sixty dollars will go straight to shipping stuff out. All right, I won't look. You check for a sticker? I'll check for a sticker. All right, all I need to know is that there's not two stickers. All right, there's one sticker. Okay. All right, I'll show all of you because I don't believe that. Well, we'll see. What do we got? Uh, not enough. I don't believe so. Not enough. I first saw that and thought it was one of the uh, the con my hero pops and Piccolo, thought, right? Am I saying it right? Piccolo. Piccolo. Yep. Piccolo with the shared sticker. What's the difference? Is it just the little? It says uh, share exclusive instead of NYCC. Uh, I guess. I'm not sure. I haven't seen a con sticker, but for everyone that is what she looks like. Fall convention. So, con one. The con one says NYCC, and if it was a con sticker, it would be fifty dollars. <laughs> uh, what con? It is. It is a shared exclusive. It's fourteen dollars. Oh, goodness! That was a rough one for you this week, my friend. Forty six. You wiped the floor with me this week. Uh, well, yeah, but if we had done that last week, you still would have beat me with $46. <laughs> <laughs> I came in at $45 last week. That was uh, really, really bad. Yes. I hate Sam, yeah. buddy. Oh, you're on the baby shift? Good luck, man. Oh, uh, Tim. May the force be with you. Mm, do you have any paternal leave? I would guess he has to. Very, very available chasing pops, or it would be. I think Funko has come to the conclusion that Dragon Ball is very desirable. They're getting there with my hero. Ah, that's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. Take it after your wife's sleeve is up. Six personal days. Mm. I'm drowning. Anyway, in my job, we get uh, six weeks. Uh, paternal? Yep. I now, of course, they, they made that rule three years ago after I had my two children. So with my children, I got, I think I got five days. That's it. I so, don't think we have any at my, my office. Yeah, they're giving people now six weeks. And they have to take it at once. So, but they don't have to take it, you know, immediately. They could say when they want to take it, but they can't break it up. It's got to be six weeks or nothing. Six weeks straight. Yep. I, man. But it's not enough to make me want another one. I know that, that's exactly what I was thinking. I was like, man, I'm thinking about having a kid to get six weeks off. We actually had someone start the job with his wife pregnant. Was there? I want to say like four weeks. Took six weeks vacation. Came back. Work a week. Worked a week and quit. <laughs> So well, that's how you do it. <laughs> yeah, it worked well for him. Worked well for him. I also uh, PayPal'd you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's going straight to shipping labels. <laughs> yeah, I gotta ship some stuff out myself. Mm, six weeks off, eighteen years on. That's about how it is, Joe G. Six weeks off still isn't. Even if I could have another child, I don't think I would want to. Elizabeth, if it meant six weeks off work, I could figure that part out. The only problem is not scaring them away once they see what the inside of my bedroom looks like. You never know. You never, you never know. It's going to take a different kind of person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that's true. That's true. I'm not allowed to have anything. In fact, I have nothing of mine up in the, uh, in the bedroom. In the bathroom, I do. Yeah, we had uh, 
Ed, the pop drunk, come on uh, live with us the other night, and he was like, that. "He was like, I, I'm confined to the basement. You know, I yeah. have like the little collections up in the corners in certain places, but otherwise, it's basement." <laughs> oh yeah, Pop Global says eight weeks in California. That's a state rule there. That's crazy. I don't even think that would be enough for Lisa to want another want kids. In the kitchen or the living room? I in the kitchen? No. I don't I don't think I want anything near food. I'm very strange. <laughs> yeah, I get the basement and I have the, the bathroom I have with uh, autographs line the uh, bathroom walls. So, autograph pictures. Do you frame them all? The ones there are ones that I enjoy that I don't care because if, the, if it gets a little steam, the actual picture adheres itself to the glass. <laughs> so it's uh, I who's there? Dan Aykroyd, Billy Bob Thornton, Kevin James is there, Kevin Hart. Did you get uh, any of the alternates this month for the BAM box? No. Neither did I. Oh, I didn't even get a pin. I saw that. <laughs> I was like, well, that's disappointing. <laughs> If you want to be mine. I contacted him and I said, Hey, you, you guys uh would be cool about it. I'm sure. It was a I d I didn't even watch the, the autograph. I mean it's a cool autograph. I think the person that signed it is really cool. I just I've never watched the whatever it was movie or show or uh, whatever. Far, Farscape? Yeah. I had a couple people comment that they really liked Farscape. I don't even know what it is, to be honest. I think I got an eight different eight by ten than what you got. Really? Yeah. I think I have it here. Hold on. Zombie. There's no paternal leave at my work, and it's company determined here. You know, usually the sci-fi shows, I would know what it is. Oh, yeah. That is uh, same same actor, though. That's the I was guessing who oh, yeah. it was based on my picture. but Yeah. I don't know if I like yours better or mine. I don't know. I like yours. Yours is more like action, more people in it. It's got more people in it. Yeah, I've got it right here. Sitting with Cat Dog and Harry Potter. Now, the pin, once you get the pin, the pin's cool. I think I, I got the, the basic pin, but it's still a uh, Joker. I think I like that better than the limited one where he's not wearing the makeup. Yeah. And now that I know where the license plate is from, I, I kind of think that's cool. That is cool. So, yeah, I. I think I might like mine better. It's got more color to it. It does. It's more like a shot, like an action shot. I think it's good, a good shot of the cast. I don't yeah. know a single person on there. Yeah, I don't either. Uh, I did like the alternate art one for the Tony Stark, where it was unmasked. I would have uh, liked to get that one. That was cool. I think that makes a little more sense with that style art rather than the uh, suited up version. But Yeah, yeah I did like that. Still cool. Alexandra, what are you winning? She's been saying she wins for a while. Well, she she did win a mystery. She, she won a mystery box, and she chose two Poptopia boxes, and she got it yesterday. And I don't remember if she posted what she got. She said it was good, whatever it is. If it's good for Alexandra, it's likely Disney. <laughs> Could be. Disney or uh, Nickelodeon cartoon related would be the main thing. Like this, the first person I sent a picture of this thing to was Alexandra. I said, check it out. He would like that. Oh, yeah. I sent her with the mystery mini I opened before from Nickelodeon that was the, the cat dog, and she loved that. Here. Pop Couple says she posted it on Instagram, so I have to go on here and take a look. Fake fans? <laughs> That's a lot, Alexandra. My... My Instagram follows don't work for the mystery box companies I'm trying to follow. That's why that's why Sarah Aldrich is so important to, to everybody. And Sin, that's not how you organize pop, dude. You're gonna have a mess real fast. No, she did actually not turn out bad at all, actually. What'd she get? She got a Renji, as I think that's bleach, right? It is. And then she got a um, the character NYCC Pop from um, 
Oh, Dune. Uh, the same character from Dune. Uh, the Fade guy. I don't know. Yeah, Fade. I think the band. Okay, so she's probably happy about the Bam Bam. Yes, an eight thousand piece Bam Bam from uh, the Flintstones. That's a, that's a pretty good. That's really nice, actually. Nice. Oh, that was one of the top pulls for the thing. And it was. Look at that, Alexander. Congrats. <laughs> That's not bad. I, don't know. I, I don't breathed know. through that one. I, th I I can't remember. I think Alexander picked those numbers, I think. can't remember. Yeah, I don't... Uh, I, I've seen a lot of the Renji pops. I've seen a lot of people pull the Ichigo pop and, and say the wrong name. Yeah. You and Clint included. Probably. <laughs> Probably. That's all right. I say the wrong thing on anime constantly and get corrected. <laughs> Just the ones I haven't watched I seem to pull. Used to watch... I don't even know really what Cat Dog is, and this is where people get mad at me, because I have the pop and I want to keep it. But <laughs> I don't even know what it is. People are like, you don't know what it is? No, but I like the... Fl it's flocked. I like that. Fl anything flocked is cool. When is the Great Ape Goku coming out? Uh, I thought it was towards the end of November. Isn't that Entertainment Earth, Miguel? Yes, it is. Pretty sure. I thought that was like 1126. Is standing out in my head for some reason. Could be. But I mean, six inch pop, exclusive to an online website. It's going to be readily available. Uh. Think about Shenron from Galactic Toys, Broly, uh, the Shenrons from Hot Topic. The only one that's decently hard to get that I think they vaulted was the Vegeta Great Ape. Other than that, all of those, they, they re-release at some point. All the Karamas, all the Voltrons, all the Megazords. Yep. Even the Game of Thrones stuff. So all, they re-release all of that stuff. Harunga. I actually watched uh, 20 some minutes of a um, anime the other day, Naruto. Uh, I don't know what season it was. I was going to say that, that might give you zero context as to what's going on. <laughs> yeah, it was. Uh, Zach had it on. I'm sitting there. I'm just watching it with him. And it was uh, some kind of battle between a guy that took bandages off his legs and was super fast and another one that had a thing around his back that sand came out and protected him. That would be Rock Lee and Gara. That's it, Gara. <laughs> Gara is actually one of the the cooler characters on the show. So is Rock Lee, but Rock doesn't have any cool powers. Yeah, he, cool, right? he had some uh, army guy. It looked like that was like his coach, and then he drops down and he's getting beat. And then he says, "Do it!" And he takes the bandages off his legs or something, and he's like super fast, and he hits Gara. Yeah, he takes all the weights off. Is what it is. He's. He... Uh, ties all the the heavy weights on with the bandages. It was very very interesting. Very well, interesting. It's, it's a very anime kind of fight going on where yeah. it goes back and forth, and then it's like, ah, did you know I could do this? Kind of thing. Yeah, I liked it. Reminds me of old Voltron. <laughs> Spoiler alert, Joe! But yes, he does lose. <laughs> <laughs> I think I turned it off when he got down. It he was like a sand shell, and it just falls down to a shell. And then I don't know what happened after that. Uh, he eventually wins. I would think. He goes on to become one of like the strongest people in the world on that show. He was trying to explain that someone beat him, but it had to have this and the Kage and all this stuff. And I'm like, I you got, you lost me, bud. You lost. Those me. are all the Kages are just titles. It's it's like the head of a village kind of thing. It's it's weird the way they do a lot of that where they leave the actual Japanese word in there for parts of it. So you hear like Kazikage and things like that. And it's, it has a meaning in Japanese, but it doesn't mean anything in American. Yeah. Why am I grounded from tacos? You can't ground me from tacos. I can make my own tacos. And everyone, if you're out there and you want to watch star Wars on opening night, you better check your theater tickets are on sale. Now we're going at five o'clock on Thursday. 
I'm just going to roll up into a ball and like hide from Star Wars for a few days and then go like early morning to a show. Yeah, well, we bought tickets for some kind of, it was five instead of six. And I'm like, why are tickets 25 bucks? And the girl's like, it, it's like a, a fan event. Do I get something for it? I don't know. So you can't tell me why they're 25 bucks instead of uh, the normal 14 or whatever. But it's a fan event. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> yeah, Harrison Ford shows up at the beginning of the movie on screen. Hey, you never know. You never know. I think they said it's two hours and 40 minutes, I think. So. Joe, where are you good. going now? That's, I, still, that's not bad for a Star Wars movie. It could no. be go over three. Especially the way to, to end it and everything like that. If you guys haven't seen, check out the final trailer. It looks good. <laughs> Alexandra, what did he say? <laughs> I don't think he spoiled anything for anybody. Uh, not necessarily, Falcon. I like to go simplicity over all the extra toppings on the tacos. By the way, I think me and Larry are going to have to start like a cooking show. Because Larry and I have been talking about a lot of food on uh, on Instagram, how to make it. Because Brian and Brittany have been doing keto. And we yep. have one of those little groups with, with them going. And then it's basically me and Larry just branch off and talk about recipes for like an hour. And they come back and there's 400 messages. <laughs> <laughs> Larry is something. Although he, he needs to do the chip because he can't talk about any hot stuff and until he eats the chip. Oh, no. No, no, no. Not at all. Oh, triple. Yeah. Well, that that's guaranteed. Uh, their meat's only like 70% meat, I think. Pops KO is in the house. How's okay. it going? They recalled everything on the East Coast. You heard that, right? It was like 2 million tons of Taco Bell meat. It did. Yikes. It did. I haven't used my gift card yet, to say the least. <laughs> But tell me this. I mean, I've been to McDonald's in the last six months. I've had a burger there. Yeah. I've been to Taco Bell in the last six months. I've been to Burger King in the last six months. Why does Taco Bell's beef taste so much friggin' better than everybody else's if it's not beef? I mean... It, I think it is beef. I, I, it, it the beef is a lower grade of beef. It's oh, beef. yeah. It's, you know, it's rat beef. Could be, could be. It well, could be. I, mean, I know they're. I told you the story about pet pet food, right? Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it is beef. It's just you know lower grade. It's it's not killing me. Well, it might be killing me, but we don't know. <laughs> it's beef maybe. with carcinogens, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Or in your Ocean right a new Harry Potter pop. <laughs> <laughs> Get him, Magoo. Get him, Magoo. <laughs> the fake added flavor and fat. So there probably is a good amount of fat that goes into cooking that, but I don't think there's a whole lot that honestly gets absorbed by that meat. No. And there's not a lot of grease that comes out of those things either. So it could have plenty of fat in it, but... Could could it does taste good? I I like it. My whole point was, you know, McDonald's, Wendy's. What it, Wendy's has the best tasting burgers, in my opinion, in the fast food group. Unless you want to start going out to like Hardee's and some of those, yeah, and you start moving it up. Yep. Yeah, but the beef taste from Taco Bell is just better than everything else. <laughs> it means it's a horse meat. Thanks, Tickles. <laughs> Royale with Chase, that is false, actually. I've I've done that before. It does not taste the same. But I actually prefer more cumin in mine. So this is why Larry yep, here's Larry. He's down. All right, Larry, cooking show. There you I, go. I don't know if anyone will watch it, but I'm down. <laughs> 
I also told Larry he uh, he wanted to do like a Q and A on uh, YouTube monetization because he's got a lot of questions. I said I would sit down live with him and he could just ask, and I would pull up the screen and just show people. Yeah, it's a good one. It is a good one. Oren and Magoo, no fighting. <laughs> Be nice, guys. Be nice. <laughs> he did say that there would be some damage. Uh, what is it, eight to a ten or something like that? <laughs> oh jeez. Uh, so they said seven. It, I looked for it and I was like eight to ten, but it does say seven to to nine point nine. Nobody ever says ten. It's like the ten is the unicorn. I, I did think about Magoo. I did think about bringing up popcorn with flicks while I was in Indiana because they, they do live in Indianapolis, but we didn't go. I couldn't talk Clint into it. No, I did not say human. I said cumin with a C. <laughs> no, not soil and green. Nope. And Larry wants deer jerky. Okay. Deer jerky, Larry. Oh, I can hook you up with that, Larry. Do you have a hookup for that? Yeah, the wife, at times she hunts deer, and then her family has been up hunting since last week. They, I think they got two already. Hmm. And then I live near three processors that make it into uh, sweet bologna cheese sticks, deer jerky, oh. hot dogs, bologna. Uh, My... Uh... My aunt's forever boyfriend, I, I guess is the best word. Uh, he he does the same, but he makes the jerky himself. So he cures it uh, like out in the garage or the shed or something. And yeah, my father-in-law does it. He has his own little smoker outside. It's it's so much better that way than getting like store-bought stuff with the preservatives. Oh, if you ever have real, yeah, once you have real jerky, you're never gonna go to that store-bought stuff. Big, though. You tried that filet mignon jerky, right? I love that. That is awesome. That was good stuff. I think I got the adobo flavor. Oh, my goodness. I got one of their sampler packs where it was way too expensive. No, there's not a lot. It's like 11. If you get, I think if you buy three packs, it gets a discount, but it's still like 11, 12 bucks. And it's it's a couple ounces. That's yeah, it's it. like a couple ounces for like $11 a pack but or man, something. Man, is it, is it good? Go, Sean, go. I'm going. I'm doing it. I don't know what I'm doing, but yeah. <laughs> Cure your own. It works better when you don't live in a condo with 1,800 Funko Pops. Kazi would love deer jerky. So Larry sent me something today. Um, me and Kazi are going to have a new video series. <laughs> so we did. We did. We tried. I tried to do the snack crate with him, but I was disappointed because he couldn't eat a whole lot of it. Yeah. So Larry sent me something from BarkBox, which is like a dog subscription service. They have a super chewer box, which is what Cosmo is, where it comes with two toys, two snacks, and like two meat items. And uh, I bought the six-month subscription for Cosmo because the thing that I liked is they said you can do uh, – it's a, everything's got a lifetime warranty on it. So if he destroys one of the toys, I just show it to him. They send me a new one. That's not bad. No, I, I thought that was cool. And buying those kind of toys for a dog like him, they're they're fifteen bucks anyway. Oh yeah. Absolutely. So I think I think it came out to be something like twenty two dollars a month paying up front and yeah. getting the initial discount. So I was totally on board for that. It's not bad. I like watching your guys snack videos. You guys cheap and nerdy. I've I got like one James do it. I've got one sitting here, but uh Chris, I ended up winning tonight. Um, yes. It wasn't they, close. The big poll was Jim Halpert. We both got Popeyes. We both had some commons. Uh, what was your last poll, Andrew? Is it Piccolo? Um, Piccolo? Yeah. Piccolo? Dean did. Who's Dean? <laughs> <laughs> Magoo. Uh, possibly, Magoo. Possibly. 
<laughs> you got you got to think how many how many are really fans of Orin and how many really are really fans of wait a minute Orin conspiracy theory you just showed up I'm pretty sure that you play World of Warcraft on Tuesday and Thursday nights think about it. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, it, he's got fans that are split between him and Kristen, right? Oh yeah, I think everyone does that. Hey Ian. Used to, but not anymore. Don't deny it. I know you're in my guild. I heard you on Discord. <laughs> <laughs> Smiling. Yeah. I know you're I know you're tanking too. I know what you're doing. <laughs> Hashtag Team Kristen pops KO for life. Orin, I don't read every one of the comments, but they are heavily in favor of Kristen. Kristen here. I have more fans than Orin. <laughs> Uh, is are you there, Kristen? Because he's playing World of Warcraft in the closet. <laughs> I'm almost uh, there's not too many people that sound like Orin. He's got a distinctive voice, and I'm pretty sure he's in my guild. Did you get a purple bubble envelope? Yes, Larry, I did. Um, I did go to the post office and pick up everything, and I was very confused. <laughs> I had something from Zanini Box. I had something from THG, which I think is pop in a box. Yes, I, had, I think it is. I had something from someone who called themselves Must Love Pops. Uh, that sounds like it would be a channel, but I don't, I'm not familiar with it. So I had something from Andrew, a uh, letter. letter yes. Post. Yep. Yeah, there, there were things. You said you got Zanini box. Yeah, I think Larry sent me something from Zanini box. Zanini box is very cool. So, Larry, you may not have been here earlier, but I, I am putting together uh, variety boxes. We won't call them mystery boxes, but variety boxes for you and Andrew for when you come back. And you guys can open them here, check it out, or you can take them back home. But it's going to be kind of stuff I like from the area is the idea. And maybe a little Christmas gift for each of you. <laughs> Till I open that box on Amber, if I open it now, am I ungrounded from tacos? <laughs> I think it's for I'm, I'm pretty sure it's from Amber. No, no, not THC. THG is in goat. <laughs> It's in the car. I'll go get it real quick and open it. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it's in a mystery box, Magoo. All right. It, you mind if I go get this thing real quick? And no, go ahead. <laughs> it's, it's the white box, right? I'm getting the white box. It says THG. No, not the white dog. You stay there. I'll be right back. Falcon, we, we have dueled. Sean won, Sean won tonight. It wasn't close. It wasn't close. Thank you for the link, Bricks Bear. I appreciate it. Lily Long, Zach Bonifer. How's everyone doing? So, yeah, it wasn't close. Jim Halpert, three-hole punch man, was really the, uh, the big one for the night. I could not combat that puppy. <laughs> He's coming back, Alexander. He's coming back. But nice hits on the Poptopia box. Very, very cool. And thank you for all the well wishes of uh, safe trips back. I had a lot of fun in Indiana for those that weren't on the live on Sunday. It was a lot of fun. The game, uh, we went out to dinner. I went out to dinner the night before with Clint and again on um, with two peas. On Sunday after the game, I loved Indianapolis. I thought it was fabulous. 
Um, yeah, I couldn't. I can't say enough. It was awesome. It was an awesome, awesome trip. Oh, JJ, I'm I'm tempted, but I don't I don't know. I like the white one probably a little bit better, but I don't know if that's a chase one or what. Uh, I like them. I I don't I don't know. Probably because I'm such a Jordan fan, I will. Pullman Liam Hemsworth. Oh wow. Yeah, Funko Lumen, I did see that they're filming something near you. Sean Goes, Alexander wants to come on for twelve seconds. Alexander, you are always welcome to come on. <laughs> One is a Foot Locker. I don't know, JJ. It looked like actually both were Foot Locker exclusives, but maybe that was just an ad I saw. I got it. Uh, zombie on Sunday nights at 9.30, but you can hop on the weekly giveaway, which is out now, and enter to win. All right, I got it. I got, I got all of it. I even got the, I got the Taco Bell box that I'm supposed to sign for Sin. <laughs> Cosmo, hold on. I think that's Andrew's note that's down there with you. Or stickers or magnets or... Stickers and a magnet, I think. Looks like a magnet. Yep. Whew. All right, so... Okay, David... David Soften. That sounds like pins. Purple envelope, Larry. Purple envelope. Uh... Certified airmail from Canada. Lizzie Pop. Okay. All right. This is the one, right? THG Kentucky, right? I think that's something. And then that one's from Hawaiian Pop. <laughs> And this one just says from Must Love Pops. Wonder if that's like a mystery box I ordered and don't understand. There you go. All right, I got the white box. Is Amber? Are you here? This is it? I don't know what this is. I also don't know where I put the knife. <laughs> Kazi has it. Uh, I hope not. Probably behind something else I just set up here. I got scissors. It's not food, buddy. Well, at least I don't think it's food. Is that Magoo Canadian coupons? <laughs> oh, Kazi's got a smell, though. Yeah, that's his nose right there. Yep. I'm going to look first because I don't know what it is. Oh, awesome. Okay, so I don't remember if you asked me if I had this or if I just said it, but it's another one for the Nightmare Before Christmas collection. It is. No Man Jack. No Man Jack. And he's in perfect condition. Well, almost. He's got a little dense on the back, but that's okay. I like the pops. That are good in the front, and that's what matters. Very, very cool. Thank you, Amber. I appreciate that very, very much. So now we're building a little. Uh, well, Snowman Jack's saying, "Jim, I don't. Maybe I'm going to build a weird, trippy oh, office display. I'll put them all by the front door." And Alexander's calling dibs. You can't dib stuff that's given to me. You know. <laughs> What did you miss? I opened a snowman jack from Amber. <laughs> Magoo, don't fight Alexandra. That's not nice. I I do. Yeah. I've been trying. Like I said, I really do like the Nightmare Before Christmas Pops. Uh, I don't know what it is. Do you have any like that, Andrew, that you're, you like, you're into, but you never really got into what the source was. Um, I don't know if I do or not. It's off the top of my head. I don't know. 
That's I mean, Nightmare Before Christmas is mine. I like Nightmare Before Christmas. I like the movie though. I I don't like that kind of animation, but I'm otherwise a, a Tim Burton fan, I'd say. Yeah, that movie it doesn't bother me. For that movie, other other ones like that I don't care for, but that one works. Open the purple envelope. You can open. Okay, all right. We'll open the purple envelope. The purple envelope is from Zanini Box. Do you really want to see Sean's bedroom? Well, Sean's bedroom is like a uh, anime museum. Pop Den is what it is. There's an anime wall. There's a Star Wars wall. Philip Marsala, uh, Sean won tonight. So we're 8, 7, and 1. Wasn't even back. close. I want to come back. Oh, dude, Larry, come on, man. Larry, I told you you didn't need to send me that, but thank you, buddy. <laughs> Larry had a Mighty Mouse, and uh, Brian and I were talking crap back and forth about who should get it, as Larry didn't want it. But apparently, Larry just went around us and sent it, sent one to both of us. <laughs> so, Larry, that's cheating, first of all. But thank you. Uh, now I need to actually do something with my pins. Now that somebody's going to send me gifts of them, and they're not just you need a cork board or something. I something. Something. I can't remember. I, think, I know Pop Couple. I think has a really cool one for uh, for some of their BIM toy ones. I think what? it's cool. so corkboard. Yeah, makes sense. My problem is I like the art on the back. Mm -hmm. It's hard to take it off the the paper. And then the piece on the back, I would totally lose if I put it on corkboard. Yes. So what I, I mean, what I used to do uh, when I was younger is I would get these when we go on vacation. Uh, that which turned into shot glasses later on, but we can talk about that another time. Uh, and I put them in the hats that I would wear, so I'd get a hat, then I'd pick up pins from the different places we go, you know, like Bush Gardens or to a museum or aquarium or something like that. I'd always get a pin, and I'd fill up the hats I got from the area with them. That's cool. I like that. It's, it was a nice memento. I mean, it's it's something that's, you know, while a pin is still like a pin, you know, the hat's at least functional. And then you're, you know, displaying everything else. So mm -hmm. I thought it was cool. I like that. You haven't sent Brian's. You should just go ahead. Send me Brian's too. <laughs> I'll have one for display and one for, uh, not in the box, but, uh, in the plastic wrap. Large green vest. I've seen a few people do that. Um, mm -hmm. Smitty has one for patches that looks like he's in a biker game. Looks like something out of Sons of Anarchy. <laughs> <laughs> it does, except for the fact that it's got like a bunch of anime patches on it. Green vest. Put on a cork sheet. The shadow box with the art on it. Sounds like a lot of effort. <laughs> <laughs> I have a secondary plan for that brick spare, and it's to just like lean it up against something and let it sit there. That's that's, that's what we we'll do. <laughs> yeah, very much like you have your uh, box attack pins behind you. Yes, good old box attack. So I heard you have. Uh, a chase and a regular sticker, is it? Or is it the magnet that has the chase version? No, I have a chase sticker. Oh, is there... One is glow in the dark. The chase is glow in the dark, and the regular is not. Is there a chase sticker in here, by chance? There is. Oh. Ooh. Maybe I'll save that for a video. I don't know what to do with the magnets. They, all, they end up on my mini fridge, which isn't actually metal. Yeah, I don't know why. I just put them all together. I think I sent it one to you and James and Lisa and Brian and Brittany. I've seen definitely James and Lisa, I think, open theirs. So I don't know about Brian and Brittany. I think Brian opened it up on the live. Ah, that's what it was. Yes. Yep. So I saw that too. Yep. All right. Well, spoilers. <laughs> wait, who spoiled what?
So if anybody needs these three or any of Andrew's four, probably. Yes. I might keep Popeye because I didn't keep Popeye previously. I kept Popeye. But I think that's my fifth Popeye. What else I have? I could show you guys more, but then I, I'll ruin videos. I don't want, I don't want to do that for you. No, that Ichigo is not coming down. <laughs> no, I'm I'm more concerned with what's going on over in this area. <clears throat> you can see that when you come down. What what's going on? Oh yeah, that's uh, it's a different story. <laughs> Be like going through a museum, seeing, watching stuff. Uh, yeah. Um, maybe not museum. Maybe more like one of those places where the uh. Well, you've got old video game systems. Behind some stuff, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we get to see Cosmo. You want to see some people? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he wants to do. Oh, yeah. Maybe they'll bring me something. Larry, hey. I heard you talking about jerky. Bring <laughs> about some jerky. He's good if you say his name. <laughs> <laughs> That's all he does when we go out is he stares at other people and other dogs waiting to get introduced to either. <laughs> oh. No, you did not, Devin. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, every time you see it, you're going to sing the thing just like I do. He said he bought the Menomina. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> uh, Devin, your wife's going to love it. Menomina. Do 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 do. <laughs> do 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 I mean it is a, it is a very cool pop. It is. I I've, I've been looking at a lot of those uh older Sesame Street, Jim Henson type uh pops. There's there's a few that I really like. And I I finally did that Funko challenge they're constantly doing putting up on Twitter, put your uh picture wish list out there. Mm -hmm. And I tried to do it without putting up like my Freddy Funko wish list, which is just stupid. It's like a bunch of two and three thousand dollar pops. <laughs> but uh, I thought I did pretty good. I thought I did pretty good. Yeah, I thought I liked it. Yeah, it was cool. I actually even I did. I tell you, I went to uh, I went to a, a pop shop while I was in Indianapolis. Uh, like, yeah, you know, two, two peas talks about. It was interesting. It was interesting. Was it pure pops or was it like a oh, collectible pops. store? Or? Nope. I mean, there's a few, but mostly it, it's all pops, wall to wall pops. Oh, wow. And then she has her personal collection there. So I remember you saying that the other day when we were talking and you were like, why would you put it there? But, um, you know, Chalice does that too. Out in California, they actually have, uh, but they have it like enclosed in an acrylic or glass case. And it that says not for sale, but they have that same kind of thing where they've got all their super limited stuff, you know, hiding behind glass. Yeah, she had her whole collection out there. She had a life size Deadpool, which was kind of cool looking. Uh, all the stuff I I liked was in her personal collection. <laughs> I did I did feel you know I had to buy something, so I did buy a uh, a pop, and I was limited to what I could bring back, so I had to do something that I could take out a box and break the box down and all this and that. So. And you could have gone for something you could get autographed. I could have. I didn't really see anything that popped popped up to me for that. Um, you know, because it wasn't everything. I didn't. I don't think I saw any anime or anything like that. She had Harry Potter, and she had uh, some general stuff, some Mad Icon stuff. But uh, I liked her personal collection. It was probably the stuff I liked the best. What she had was a Lotto, which was kind of cool. I liked seeing that. I was. Very impressed with uh, Ed's collection the other night, if you saw any of that. I saw some of it. Uh, Freddy Funko as He-Man and Freddy Funko as Skeletor. That's pretty cool. Uh, the original three serial ad icons. Oof. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> lots of, just lots of older, nice stuff. You can tell he's been collecting for a while and he does not care very much about what the things cost. He just kind of yeah. like that's a good thing. It is. It I is. JSA is now doing authentication encapsulation of pops. 
that's oh JSA is doing it now. Yeah, JSA is into it now. Yeah, he had the two the other night he was showing off that were from uh, uh VVGS. Yep, now JSA is doing it. And it has quite the collection, no doubt. Yep. No doubt. <laughs> I want him to turn the camera around at some point and show us the the ten inch Pokemon collection because <laughs> I just saw they released another one uh, or they announced another one today. Now they announced the ten inch Michael Jordans too. Yeah, there's ten inch Michael Jordans. There's ten inch Boba Fetts. There's ten inch Pennywise. Oh, like wh why? They're just big. Too big. Yeah, I see Magoo singing O Canada. Oh, God. Uh, He's in Chicago right now. I don't think he... I don't think that's one of his collections, Devin. He talks pretty heavily about uh, the ad icons. And he was buying all the new ones, too, like Quisp and Quake and uh, the monkey with the Pez. I can't remember his name. And yep. the girl and all those. It's cool. It is cool. What about the 19-inch Batman? Nope. At some point, a line must be drawn. I wouldn't even go for it for... I know people were getting a, like a discount to get it for 50 bucks. I wouldn't even buy it for 50 bucks. No. They, they made pops that were around that size way back when, and they're worth quite a bit. I believe there's a there's an old blue Batman that's around that size. There's an old uh, Deadpool. Uh, actually, I don't think they're pops. I think they're like mega sized dorbs. And those are all worth quite a bit. And let me see if I have a picture. Ari, who is the lady that owns this Funkita store, has a a Freddy Funko that's like that. Is it like dorb fashion, or is it just extra large? I think it's just extra large. No, I didn't take a picture of it. Hello, lots there. Of I'll, have, I'll have a video and you can see where she's sitting with her collection. She loves that icons and Freddie Funkos. She had all the baseball from the Seattle Sea, wherever in Seattle. She had those pops. She had a Babe Ruth from NYCC. And yeah, those are the kind of that they could get a lot more people with if they would do a more widespread. I understand the ones from Seattle because that's where the headquarters is. Um, I don't think anyone's ever explained to me the reason for the San Francisco ones. Mm -hmm. There's a San Francisco Giants Jack Jack. There's a Woody. Yep. You know, they have a bunch of them down there. I don't, I don't know what the story is with those. For all I know, it's that the Funko designers love Joe Montana or... Barry Bond. Yeah, maybe Barry Bond. I don't think it's... Six inch Lurch. Oh, yeah, there's a, a Giants BB-8. Yep. I don't think that Lurch ever came out holding thing. I know the, the animated one is out, but I know the other one has never come out. But maybe, because Wednesday was on Funko Shop last, last week, maybe it will come back on Funko Shop. It, the, all right, so people are saying it's because... Pixar is there. Oh, maybe. So what did I mention? Is uh Jack Jack is Pixar. Not to mention all the Bruce Lees that come mean? out, San Francisco. Is BB eight Pixar though? No. Disney, but not Pixar. I mean, I know he's property of Disney, but I don't know who produced the the graphics behind it. Yeah, I know Woody's Pixar, I know Jack Jack's mm -hmm. Pixar, I think. No, wait a minute. Jack Jack is DreamWorks. Incredibles is DreamWorks, isn't it? Who knows? No, Incredibles is Pixar. Oh, is it? Yep. What am I thinking? Oh, I'm thinking of the Minions. Yep, Pop Stadium do giveaways. I know. I knew about Atlanta and Tampa and Seattle. I would love for them to do an Orioles one. I was a. I'm a really big Orioles fan. I mean, for years and years and years, Cal Ripken was my favorite player. I've got. Uh, that's stuff I never show anybody on the channel, but I have a bunch of sports memorabilia too. Autograph baseball. It's gonna, be a good, it's gonna be a good trip. It's a disaster, though. <laughs> it's like walking into a, a 
a storage unit where crackheads have been living for a long time. That's all right. Uh, I have one of the, uh, so it's not certified, but I have one of the foul balls that Ripken hit in the game tying game for the streak autographed by him. That's cool. Yeah. Um, not that it would matter if it was certified. It's never going anywhere. <laughs> oh, good old Alexander and Magoo. Uh, you're never that late, Bigly. As long as it's still going, you're not too late. I'm Pixar. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, but not how much. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Devin, there, there's things that don't go anywhere. I mean, I have a medium-sized sweatshirt. Um autographed by they used to be called the posse it was the redskins wide receiver core the year they won the super bowl in 1991 so that one's not going any art art monk gary clark and ricky sanders so i there's just stuff i have like that that's not going anywhere no um, everything has a price some of it has too much sentimental value I mean, do you have, for me, when I was growing up, it was sports, but do you have something that just ties that, that childhood memory there? Like the Goonies, I mean. Goonies, yeah. So, I wouldn't get rid of any Goonie Pops or, uh, you know, Flocked, Tony the Tiger. Um, well, I mean, like, so somebody offers you a million dollars, but you have, but you have uh, screen used, uh, piece from the Goonies that Sloth and Chunk have autographed. But they offered me a million? Yeah. Yeah, I'm selling. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for everything has a price. I mean, you know, some of it might be very big, huge, outrageous prices, but you know, everything may come with a price. It's, I'm, I'm a little different in that aspect, I guess. I have the thing, the sentimental things that I wouldn't get rid of. Well, I have some Michael Jordan autograph stuff. I don't think I'd get rid of that. Yeah. That's, the other that's how I am with the Cal Ripken Bowl. Like watching that game and the moment and everything that happened when he when he broke that record, it was you knew that was never gonna happen again. Nope. Nope, never will. Ghostbusters for you, Bob. I'm sure everybody has that little thing. You just have to figure out what it is. Yeah. I love Ghostbusters. Watch I have great memories of Ghostbusters. Yeah. Oh, I love the Tony the Tiger pop, but, you know, Devin found that number. <laughs> so, I can't, can't argue with that. No, no. Everything's but, got a price. Yeah, there's other stuff I just I don't want to get rid of. And it, not saying it won't ever have a price, but at this point at least. Five original Scooby-Doo set. It's a cool one. I still have yet. I got to get Captain Cutler. It's the only one I got to get. Didn't you only get Captain Cutler? Uh, the Creeper. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm looking for, the Creeper. Alexander, everything to you seems to cost a dollar. It, it's $5 minimum to ship a pop. <laughs> <laughs> and. I don't know where Chrono Toys get their eight ounces from that all their boxes are labeled with. I don't think any of those boxes weigh eight ounces. No, no. They're all like 10 to 12. Ooh, I like that one, Glenn. See, that's, that's right in my area. Frank Thomas hit a home run off Randy Johnson. You got the ball after the game. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, you also. the big hurt. Says he got it signed after the game. Oh, hello. Yeah, I have a visitor. <laughs> well, you're being inquired if you have any uh, anything for for share there. For share? Yeah. Do you have any any tasty treats? 
I try to avoid certain words, but he's out like a light. Say, no, I have no treats for you. I'm sorry. It's doesn't, bedtime for you. Doesn't matter. I'll lick your face anyway. Yeah, she will. <laughs> what kind of dog is she? She is an Australian Labradoodle. So we have two of them. That one is Anna, named, of course, for Frozen. Yeah. And then we have one that we uh, we screwed the name up. It should have been Chewbacca or Chewy, but uh, they named him Sully after, of course, uh, James T. I think it's James T. Sullivan from Monsters Inc. I think it might be James P. Sullivan. It James P. It's James P. Yeah, it's James I, P. I think yeah. Chat can destroy us on that one. Uh, is it is it a brown one? He's chocolate. I gotcha. Yep. And he's fluffy and he's furry and he looks like Chewbacca. So he should have been Chewy, but. Where's the cat? Watching TV in the other room. I have a very strange cat. I, <laughs> I've not known too many animals to pay attention to the television. Uh, my cat will not only watch television, but listen to it. So she reacts when I'm watching something that's suspenseful and like the music changes or something crashes, she'll be watching it and just jump back. <laughs> it's very weird. It's very weird. Big fan of football. I'm sure she would love tennis, but I'm not into tennis, but just loves stuff moving around on the street. Yeah. Uh, yes. I, when I when I leave here, I know Co Cosmo gets really bored. I know he, he sleeps a lot anyway, but when I leave, he sits by the front door and waits for me to come back. Uh but I leave the uh, the TV on for the cat because the cat will sit there and watch TV and be completely entertained. Yeah, and you know how I know Cosmo is sitting there and not moving? Because sometimes I'll come back and the cat is right next to him on top of a pile of boxes, which would not happen if he was moving. <laughs> and she's just up there sleeping upside down when I come in the door. That's not a bad idea, Ness. <laughs> Bird and squirrel. <laughs> Hop Harbor, that is a large word. And it's spelled right. Wow. Oh, there's Matthew. Yeah, Hulk Hogan autograph. That's cool. Sammy Sosa. Hmm. Man, I don't know if you guys have seen Sammy, what Sammy Sosa looks today. Woo! Well... Probably a little rough. I saw him a few years after he was done with the Orioles. Sammy Sosa is uh, pale. Sammy Sosa is whiter than you are. Really? Really. Yes. Oh, that's what Grump just said. Yeah. <laughs> He's right. He's right. He's right. Hello, Ozzy Mystery Pop. Welcome, welcome. Welcome. George Brett sign ball. Everybody's got their player that would be the one for them. That's a lot of great names being thrown out there in chat. Yeah. My big one when I was growing up before the Ripken game was I got a Nolan Ryan sign ball one year for my birthday. That's cool. And I have this... Uh, a couple things right here. Some of them are personalized. Some of them aren't. But this was another big one when I first got it. It's from the 93 All-Star Game. Oh, I like that. Yeah, Ken Griffey. And most of it has like COAs on the back. But yeah, that's, that's the kind of stuff I was like really into when I was younger. I have a lot of, I have a lot of that kind of stuff that just kind of sits over here and gets stacked up on now. Zombie, I thought I lost mine for years. It turns out that they somehow ended up in a box of my stuff sitting in my mom's garage for almost 14 years or so. 13, 14 years. I got Jenna Jameson's <laughs> balls. <laughs> oh, popping off Seattle. That's good. <laughs> I like it. All right. Well, you ready to uh, resign ourselves? Yep. I got to wake up for work. I got uh, 
many responsibilities that I don't want to claim. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, everyone. And uh, we'll see you again uh, next week. Yes. Thank you, guys. For another round. All right, guys. Peace.